because coming in at number 34 on our 2024 NHL draft rankings from the Barry Colts, it's Cole Baudouin. And Ross, Cole Baudouin is an Ottawa kid like you uh, teased before the break. Even better, Ross, he's from Canada. So, I is mean, that better? Well, if you're looking as an Ottawa Senators fan, you're like, hey, he's from the Ottawa area. Hey, he grew up around the corner from the CTC. You got to love that. And then he honed his craft in my neck of the woods in the OHL with the Barry Colts. And he had a lot of success here, Ross, uh, last season as an assistant captain. Some little leadership qualities there as well. In 67 games, he had 28 goals, 34 assists, good for 62 points. In six playoff games, he had five points. And he also spent time with Team Canada at the U18s, where in seven games, he had four points. So, Ross, wherever this guy plays, he's pretty close to a point-per-game clip. So he's got some nice offensive uh, capabilities. Cole Baudouin is six foot two, 209 pounds, an April birthday, and he is as high as 20th, where you can find him on Corey Pronman's rankings out of our seven scouting entities. Everyone else, late first, mid second, 30 on Bob's list, 31 on Elite Prospects, 39 for Scott Wheeler, 44 for Chris Peters, 45 for Craig Button, and 56 for McKean's. 62 points in 67 games will jump off. 28 goals will jump off the page. But you can't talk about Cole Baudouin without talking about his ferocious motor. This guy is always at a, a full pace, tempo, emphasis. This guy is a worker bee, and that's why he's such a projectable player. And I think he will be a first-round pick, a team that, that wants certainty, that doesn't want to take a risk, that wants a safe pick. This is the definition of a safe pick. Now there might be more upside beyond that for sure, but you are guaranteeing an NHLer out of this draft. If you take Cole Baudouin. Yeah, I, I would say that's probably right. Ross, I'm not going to go as far as saying guaranteeing. Cause I've been uh, burned Guaranteed. by prospect prospect predictions in the past. So I'll leave that one to you, but there's certainly a lot to like about Cole Baudouin. He's a dual threat. Good shot, nice passer. He's got a quick release in the slot. He plays both sides of special teams, so you love to see that. Uh, Scott Wheeler mentions he does need to work on his skating speed a little bit, but he's a strong kid physically, and once he's in stride, he can really pick up some speed. Mitch Brown from EP loves his work ethic. You talked about how he has that high motor. So you start looking at this is a guy that can pass, shoot, kill penalties, play on the power play, has a high motor, can skate with speed once he gets going. Like, there's just so many attributes you like about this guy. And then, Ross, another little thing to look at for the Sens, at least for how they used to draft, his dad was a longtime pro that played in the NHL, Sweden, Switzerland, and Germany. So he comes from uh, pro hockey family lines. That's not even close to it. He also played three games for the Newcastle Vipers in the English League. Played okay. in Switzerland. He played in Switzerland. He played in Croatia for three games as well. Okay, so I missed uh, England and Croatia. So yeah, this guy's he, his dad did the world tour of hockey. He's got the yeah the hockey passport stamped everywhere, and and he was you know all over the place. This guy played hockey in Utah before it was cool to do so. Utah Grizzlies <laughs> back in 01, 02 in the AHL. There, uh, good Ottawa lad, Eric Baudouin as well. But I think what uh, what you're gonna find with Cole is is not only work ethic, but the guy's an animal. Everything I'm reading, Scott Wheeler's article, everything points to the fact he's he's a, a very strong athlete in the gym. And again, that's that's what you want to have out of these these guys you're picking in the draft. You want them to fit into the culture of what you're trying to build. And I think that Cole Baudouin is a culture builder when you have him in the in the room. I think that everything that I'm reading, amazing teammate, all these great things, and he's he's going to impress. I have a I have a very strong feel. I'm a very high on Cole Baudouin. He's the highest I have on our ranking so far. Obviously, we've got him at 34 with that average of 37.9 being dragged down a little bit by McKean's, who has has the uh, the oldest rankings. And I think that that does have, have some say here because Cole finished the year pretty strong with five points in six games in the playoffs and then had four points in seven games and was plus six at the U18. So 
I I would be happy if the Sens took him at 25, Pilsy. Like, that's how high I am on this kid. I think, Ross, he's going to be this year's version of, like, the Shane Pinto, Bobby Brink area where they're the first picks made out of the second round, in my opinion. I think that's a more appropriate spot for him. I like Baudouin a lot. Obviously, you, you just heard all the things we talked about him. I got him at three and a half stars, though, Ross. What? I just I, I think the Sens can take a bigger swing Dude. here. Uh, and also, it's so tough to project how picks 25 and 39 are going to go because it's a domino effect from what happens at seven, right? Like if the Sens take a right-hand shot defenseman at seven, most likely Zane Parekh, then I don't want them drafting another right-hand shot at 25 or 39. Probably not. And then if they go a left-hand shot defenseman, it just trickles on. So again, this is not a knock against Cole Baudouin. I like the player, but I just think the Sens can take a bigger swing with 25 or 39. Yeah, I think that's fair. But at the same time, don't you want to have these types of like organizational pieces when you have three picks in the top 39? I think you can afford to have one of them be like, hey, we could get some higher upside in like a top nine, top top nine forward. But we know we're, we're going to have that that wave of a guy who can come in in two, three years, play two or three years fully on his entry level contract. I think there's huge value in that. And a team like Yeah. You know who's gonna take him? Who? The Dallas Stars. Their yeah. scouting is so He's good. He's gonna man. Turn, turn into an instant uh impactful player. But Rossi, you, you do make a good point. The Sens probably would be a team likely to target this guy. You look at Steve Steos uh experience in the OHL and then Don Boyd also uh came from the london knights uh i believe so th- yeah there's a well, lot of ohl influence in this scouting staff well and you mentioned he could throw a stone from his house and he's at the canadian tire center in yep. in canada um but also the senator said they're targeting hockey sense and compete those are the top two things well well and uh don boyd recently told Br- bruce garriock what they're looking for is character speed and size well Cole Baudouin is your guy. Could be. I like that. Cole Baudouin. Three and a half stars, though, Pilsy. Come on, man. Man, you, on. You, you know my three and a half star rating. It means I like the player, but maybe not in the range or a fit for the Sens. That's all I'm saying. Okay. If the Sens drafted him, I wouldn't be disappointed. Put it that way, though. It's not. Uh, don't get it twisted. Okay. Well, he is a very fun player, and he's a centerman as well. I think maybe a winger at the next level, but he... he I could be completely wrong on that. He could be a great centerman, uh, snapping back face-offs, penalty killer, definitely. And uh, in perfect world, maybe a PP2 guy as well. But Cole Baudouin, really fun prospect. He comes in at number 34 on our NHL draft rankings. For more of them, you can go check us out on YouTube, Locked on Senators. <laughs> 